the subject of pass rusher is going to dominate our conversations for the next 15 days. So be ready for it. From Max Crosby to Miles Garrett to Josh Uche and Zadarius Smith, among others. And we've been talking about a lot of people. Reddick, Hassan Reddick, before he agreed to a restructure deal with the New York Jets, was a person that was reported that the Detroit Lions reached out to as far as trying to see what it would take to bring him to the Detroit Lions. Well, there's been a update in the Zadarius Smith situation. According to Brad Stainbrook at Twitter, or through X, Stainbrook NFL, says the Baltimore Ravens, Detroit Lions, and Washington Commanders are just a, a few of the teams who have talked with the Cleveland Browns regarding defensive end Zadarius Smith per source. Now, I did some light research on this guy. Seems to be a bit credible uh, as to where he got his information from. I went and looked at that, and we already knew that Zadarius Smith has openly said that he would like to play for the Detroit Lions. And with Deshaun Watson being lost for the season, the Cleveland Browns are in pretty much teardown mode at this point. I don't see anything in their uh, immediate future as far as success. They had it with Baker. They gave him up. They lost it. And now they are hitting the reset button. Miles Garrett might be part of that reset, but for how much longer? I believe he only has two and a half years the rest of this year and two more years of his deal. But they might be ready to move on and just take the hit with Deshaun Watson. So they're looking to give up some players. I don't know if Miles is on there. We'll closely watch that to see if his name comes up. I'm sure everybody's for sale for the right price. But we already knew that Zadarius wanted to be here. And now, according to this post, looks like the Detroit Lions have reached out as well. Now, there's no denying that we need some pass rusher help. The Detroit Lions wound up with four sacks yesterday. How many of those sacks off the top of your head do you think came from the defensive line? You ready? Just one. Josh Pascal got a sack. The other one came from Malcolm Rodriguez, Jack Campbell, and Trevor Nowowski, all linebackers. Now, I'm of the mindset to, to believe if TJ Hawkinson is in the game, or if Jordan Addison, if, if the Minnesota Vikings wanted to exploit the middle of the field, they might have been able to because three of our four sacks have gone to our linebackers. What does that tell you? That means that they were, they were closer. They were no longer the second line of defense. They were up rushing the passer, all right? The one that came. But here's a, a pressure. Here's something that is beyond belief, in my opinion. I won't play the sound bite. Well, you know what? I will. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Because I told you. Mm-hmm. And when did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say will happen when I told you? Exactly what just happened. And that is, according to PFF, this is coming from Nolan Bianchi. According to PFF, the Lions had 15 pressures as a team against the Vikings. In his last full game, week four versus Seattle, Aiden Hutchinson had 15 by himself. I didn't think I was going to get loud there. I said it. I've been saying it for years. I've been saying it for months. I've been saying it for weeks. We have neglected the pass rush. Now, oh, you wanted to see what we did without Aiden Hutchinson? There it is. There it is. Kudos to Dan Campbell. Love you, coach. You said you got confident. You know what yesterday was? Yesterday was a team win. Remember Dan Campbell said we're going to need everybody to make up for the loss of Aiden Hutchinson. And, man, he wasn't lying. He was not lying at all. That stat irritated me just now because you had the opportunity to get someone of you didn't have to be elite status. It could have been above average. This dude, you didn't even go get an average pass rusher. You got an injured, below-average pass rusher, and now it's biting you in the rear. It's biting you in the rear. So when you say you don't want to sell the farm, I get it. When you say you don't want to mortgage the future, I get it. But the question that I have for you is do you want to consistently win? Do you want to get to the court? It took a whole team to do what one man was doing. If that doesn't tell you that we need to get a pass rusher, I don't know what will. The offense won the game yesterday. The defense did just enough, which is better than it's been doing before. Don't let those four sacks fool you. Three of them came from linebackers. 
One of them came from a defensive line, but Sam Darnold got to do whatever he wants. And I called it a garbage sack yesterday, the one by Trevor, because it is an obvious passing situation. The Minnesota Vikings had no choice but to throw some type of Hail Mary, obvious passing situation. He had to hold on to the ball for as long as possible. And I saw another stat too. I can't, I don't, I should have bookmarked it, but it was about how long Sam Darnold had to throw the football yesterday. That it was like the longest of the season or something crazy like that. I could be misquoting it, but it's ridiculous. All right. So I'm glad that the Detroit Lions are doing their due diligence. And if you ask me, I got to believe that Brad, <laughs> okay, per rapper, I got to believe that the Detroit Lions have reached out. Maybe inquired about Miles. Maybe inquired about Trey. Maybe inquired about Trayvon. Maybe inquired about anybody else that can help. Harold. Anybody that can help this team. Proud of this team. They all banded together. They got the win, which is what matters right now. But the question I have for you is, how long can you sustain this type of defense? Coming from that front, you got to get there with four. Or you got you to gotta get there as much as you can with four. So I like it, Zadarius Smith. This cannot be the only move, though. It can't. If we're going to get Zadarius Smith, we still could get anyone. Listen, Zadarius Smith does not end, make the final move. Zadarius Smith will cost pretty much nothing. We went over this the other day, but let's go over it again. What could the Lions, what would you be willing to give up for Zadarius Smith? We went over this literally two days ago. I am not giving the, the Cleveland Browns a fourth-round pick. Miss me with that. I will give you a six-round pick and James Houston. I will give you eh, five round. I don't know who we, what we've done in the fifth round. Brett Holmes does pretty good in the sixth round. I'll give you a fifth, James Houston. I'll give you a seventh, James Houston. I'm not going to give you a fifth and a seventh. But you know what? I can see Brad. Brad might give you a fifth and a seventh. I'll give you a seventh and a James Houston. I'll give you a six and a James Houston. I'll give you some type of, I'll give you a fit. If I give you a fifth and a seventh, then you're giving me Zadarius and somebody else. You're giving me two. You're giving me a pick back. And don't forget. If you say, well, you know what? The Trinity Benson, I'll give you the Trinity Benson. We traded Trinity for Trinity Benson. Y'all remember him? We gave up a fifth and a seventh. We got Trinity and I want to say a six, something like that. I'm going to be, I'm not, I'm, listen, I'm not irritated. I'm agitated because this team got the win yesterday and it took everything, everybody. Josh Pascoe was hurt and he came back in there and got hurt again and came back in there and got a sack. It literally took. Let me go find this tweet again. It literally took the entire team to do what one man has done. Per PFF, Lions had 15 pressures as a team yesterday against the Vikings in his last full game, week four versus Seattle. Aiden Hutchinson had 15. That needs to say all by himself. And the loss of Hutch was a big deal. Remember, guys. Y'all tell me I'm emotional. Y'all tell me, oh, Derek, you're emotional. I am. I'm emotional also based off stats and facts. You ever heard facts over feelings? Shout out to my guy. This is facts over feelings. The fact of the matter is Brad Holmes cannot afford to waste any time. Make a move. It doesn't have to be today. It doesn't have to be this week. But by November 5th, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, he needs to have somebody on this team. And when I tell you it really doesn't matter who it is, it, it can be anybody. Because check this out. If we lose anybody else, we've got Mitchell Ogude. I don't even know who our defensive linemen, let alone defensive ends, are on the practice squad. Playtime is over. I'm with this team. I'm cheering for this team. I'm not going to pop a gasket. This is me being emotional. This is me being amped up because I've been saying this for years. And the dude has neglected it time and time and time again. You cannot, and you might say, well, Derek, what happens if he goes get a he goes and gets a Max Crosby and Max gets hurt? Or you go get a Miles Garrett and Miles gets hurt. Yeah, it could happen. It could happen. But what if he don't? 
What if he don't? Or what if you had a Miles Garrett or a Max Crosby or anybody worth two cent and Aiden gets hurt? Think about that. Injuries are part of the, of the game. If you go get a, a guy and they get hurt, what, what can you do? You literally couldn't, you, you can't control that. But you can have those role player guys. You can have those secondary guys. Like I said, y'all, playtime is over. It's time to win. This is ridiculous. The whole team, the pass rush by committee, and somebody on YouTube said pass rush by committee was a good idea. I wonder who that was. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'm feeling amped today. Feeling, feeling good, man. Feeling good. We got the win. Minnesota Vikings fans are salty and sad. That's all I've been watching today. And I was right. Always feels good to be right. Welcome to the right side. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. This channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You can be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. It's time, man. Playtime is over. OVA. This man had 15 pressures by himself. Do you know what our defensive line consists of? DJ Reader, Aleem McNeil, Josh Pasco, Levi O, James the Problem Houston, Mitchell Gude, on and on and on. And they got what one man was able to get. If that don't tell you something, then you need to open up your eyes. And I'm talking to you, Brad. Get it done.